It's a city park with hiking trails and a place where kids like to play. But that's not all. Police say it's also a popular spot to get sex for money. The News 8 investigators were tipped off by viewers about that seedy behavior there. Well, our crews went to New Haven's Fairmont Park just to check it out, and what we found was shocking. News 8 investigator Aaron Logan uncovers that dirty little secret lurking in the park. Within a short time at Fairmont Park, our cameras caught a man and a woman in the act. What that act was had them running when they saw us. The thought of kids seeing this has parents on edge. Police and city officials are well aware of what's going on, but is enough being done to stop it? It's a park with a lot of different purposes. It's in a neighborhood. It's next to a school. There's a baseball league there, and lately police say prostitutes are doing business there. What if she said, Dad, let's go play in the park after school? No, no. If I seen them, no, no. Chris Scott is talking about this man behind a tree and a woman kneeling down in front of him, oh caught on God. camera by the News 8 investigators. What are you guys doing? What are you doing? After the man questions us, the woman visibly pulls her shirt down and the man buckles his pants and runs off. This is what we found at 2 o'clock in the afternoon on Monday. What are you guys doing? I'm with uh, Channel Whoa. That's gross. New Haven police weren't at all surprised. There's been illegal activity, including uh, prostitution, uh, sexual engagement between uh, male and uh, female. Just days before we shot this video, arrests were made at Fairmount Park. Police say a man and a woman were arrested for prostitution, but only one was taken into custody. This man, George Rosado. Another case is still under investigation, but they wouldn't elaborate. Did you? guys catch anybody in the act? We did. We caught uh, all, uh, all three, all four uh, participants. Sergeant Vincent Anastasio says he recognizes the woman we caught on camera. Has she been arrested for prostitution before? In the past, yes. Police say they continue to monitor that area and have received complaints from neighbors and are working with the city's Department of Parks, Recreation and Trees. We showed the director the video and she handed it right back over. It's the police's job to deal with this. We've Better. already taken some steps to clear some underlying brush and to clean up some messes that were left behind. Okay. What type of messes? Blankets, other debris. Condoms. Yep. Five days later, News 8 cameras went back to see if that mess was in fact cleaned up. We found a blanket, used condoms, and condom wrappers. Good ball players, good ball players. Mark Gambardella and Lance Lagone run the Dom Atro Baseball League here at Fairmount Park. For quite a while, they've been committed to making sure they are the first two to open up the baseball park gates and the last two to leave for a reason. We have found uh, dirty needles down here. We found, you know, condom wrappers. Now they're learning about the recent arrests and this video. Look at them run. <laughs> It surprised me and it don't surprise me. Uh, and for the simple reason because people do not have respect anymore. We asked them if they've seen anyone clearing brush as the Parks Department said is being done to make it easier for police to catch men and women engaging in inappropriate behavior. I don't see anything being done. Nothing has been done. No, not, not in my eye. Again, the Parks Director says it's already happened. Well, another two and a half weeks later, we came back just to see. You'll never guess the blanket was still here condom wrappers and wipies. Then we stopped by the baseball field. Yet again, another condom less than 100 feet from where kids play. It's pretty appalling, actually. Um, you know, got concerned about the children. Either way, adults say clearing brush and trash is a small part of a big problem. Imagine if a kid saw something like that. Yeah, it's bad around here, but the cops do the best they can. We tried numerous times to get the police report in George Rosado's case, and police would not release it. The courts tell us the case is sealed. We'll continue to keep a close eye on any cleanup by the city, as well as efforts to keep Fairmont Park safe. For the News 8 Investigators, I'm Erin Logan reporting.